If I show you an object and ask to guess the shape, if it is a rectangular, a square or something else, probably you will answer with accuracy. What if I say guessing the shape for a given quadratic curve roughly is also that easy? These parabolic curves are quite easy to draw. Nature of roots can also be predicted easily with the help of one key term for any given quadratic. Let me prove it to you. Our objective will be to understand the concept of discriminant. It is used to find the nature of roots of a quadratic equation and to visualize the shape of a parabola using discriminant. We have learned to graph a quadratic function and also established the quadratic formula for finding the roots of a quadratic equation. The roots of a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a is not equal to 0 are given by x is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac the whole upon 2a. The expression under the radical sign, that is, b square minus 4ac, is called the discriminant of the quadratic equation. It is often represented by the uppercase letter D or Greek letter delta, that is, discriminant D or delta is equal to b square minus 4ac. The nature of the roots of a quadratic equation is determined by the discriminant of the equation. There are three possibilities. Case 1. Delta is greater than 0. That is, b square minus 4ac is greater than 0. We have a positive number under the radical sign which will have a real non-zero square root. Since we are going to add and subtract the square root, we will get two distinct real roots given by x is equal to minus b plus root of b square minus 4ac the whole upon 2a and x is equal to minus b minus root b square minus 4ac whole upon 2a. Again, if b square minus 4ac is a perfect square, say m square, then the square root would be number m, which will give us two real rational roots. If b square minus 4ac is not a perfect square, then the quadratic equation has two distinct real irrational roots. Visualizing this implies that the parabola will intersect the x-axis at two distinct points. Case 2. Delta is equal to 0. That is, b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. Since the square root of 0 is 0, the quadratic equation has only one root or in other words, we can say that both the roots are identical. That is, x is equal to minus b plus 0 upon 2a and x is equal to minus b minus 0 upon 2a. In this case, the parabola will touch the x-axis at only one point. Case 3. Delta is less than 0. That is, b square minus 4ac less than 0. Here, we have a negative number under the radical sign. We also know that the square root of a negative number is not a real number. Thus, in this case, the quadratic equation does not have any real roots. This implies that the parabola will just not intersect the x-axis. Let us consolidate all these cases in a table. Here is the table for a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a is not equal to 0.
when the discriminant is greater than zero. We get two real and distinct roots also called solutions. When the discriminant equals zero, we get two identical real roots. When the discriminant is less than zero, there is no real root. We get two imaginary roots. Let us consider a few illustrations to know the number and types of roots of an equation. 3x square plus 4x minus 7 is equal to 0. We will just calculate the discriminant to know the types of roots. Delta is equal to b square minus 4ac is equal to 4 square minus 4 into 3 into minus 7 is equal to 16 plus 84 is equal to 100 which is greater than 0 and is also a perfect square. The square root of 100 is 10. Thus, the equation has two distinct rational roots. Let us consider another quadratic equation. 4x square plus 20x plus 25 is equal to 0. Now, we will find the discriminant of the equation delta is equal to b square minus 4ac is equal to 20 square minus 4 into 4 into 25 is equal to 400 minus 400 is equal to 0. Thus, the quadratic equation has two equal roots or we can say it has one real root. The graph of this function will be an upward opening parabola touching the x-axis at one point. Another quadratic equation. 5x square plus 7x plus 3 is equal to 0. Once again, we calculate the discriminant. Delta is equal to b square minus 4ac is equal to 7 square minus 4 into 5 into 3 is equal to 49 minus 60 is equal to minus 11 is less than 0. It indicates that this quadratic equation does not have any real roots. So the graph of this quadratic function will not intersect the x-axis at all. To summarize, in this session, we have understood the concept of the discriminant of a quadratic equation and how to use it to find the nature of roots of a quadratic equation. We have also learned to visualize the shape of parabola using a discriminant. Get a stopwatch ready and try to answer in your record time for the upcoming question. Are you ready? Watch the upcoming videos to know the answer to the question. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.